Okay, so I wanted to show one more example of how to use a switch. And in this case, we're going to use it to make the robot follow a line. So I want to start off with a, <clears throat> with a loop. And this is going to just kind of help it to run through the program continuously. I'm then going to take my switch, and I'm going to put my switch inside the loop. And we're going to use the light sensor on this one to get it to follow the line. So I'm going to come down to my color sensor, and I'm going to go to compare, and I'm going to go back to my reflected light intensity. What this is going to do then is it's going to uh, allow it to uh, look for the difference between the darker line that creates our circle and the lighter uh, inner circle that um, will be able to tell the difference between the two. So I've kind of already have my pieces over here to the side, and so let me explain what these are as we put these in place. So I'm going to use the large motor blocks, which are in our action tab here. And I'm using the large motor one because I'm going um, to operate these motors independently. Instead of like we've been doing using our move steering, in this case I want to use one, uh, have one kind of block for one motor and one block for another motor. So I'm going to start this so that it runs on the inside of the circle and it's going to really, it's not really looking for the line necessarily as much as it's looking for the edge of the line and the edge between the dark line and the light circle. And in this case I'm going to use the line that's on the left hand side of the darker line. So what I have here then is I have my color sensor, it's looking for the value that is less than 50. When that value is less than 50 is true, so what that means is that basically if this is less than 50 member is, uh, means it's dark, it's a dark line. In this case it's our black circle that we have going around. So when it's basically when it sees that black circle that means that it's true. So it's going to come up here. Now what's going to happen then is it's going to take my port B motor which is my motor that's on the left hand side of my robot and it's going to turn that motor off. And then it's going to take my right hand motor which is in port C and it's going to turn that one on at a power of 75. So if we only move one motor then that motor is going to, if I, my right hand motor is moving, it's actually going to turn it to the left, if that makes sense. So you can kind of look at your robot and if you hold the left one in place and you kind of turn the right one, you'll see that it's going to actually turn to the left. And that's what we want it to do. We want as it sees the dark circle, the black circle, when, it's, it's, when the light sensor is on, the light circle, we want it to kind of turn to the left. Basically what we're doing is we're finding where the edge of that circle is. Once it's found the edge of the circle, eventually it's going to move out of being on top of the circle. So then that's going to come down in here into this false uh, category. So I'm going to put these two blocks on here. And in these two blocks now, basically I've just switched them. So now I've got my port C is going to be off and my port B is going to be on. So when it's not true that this is less than 50, so basically meaning that it's in the lighter circle, then it's going to turn that right-hand side motor off and it's going to turn the left one on, basically turning it back to the right. Again, looking back for the edge of the circle. Then once it goes back to the edge of the circle and it finds that dark circle again, it's going to make that true. And it's going to go back and it's going to kind of turn to left. So it's going to constantly be going left to right, left to right, left to right, continuously looking for the edge of the circle where it goes between the yellow and the black of the circle. And since it's in a loop, it's just going to continuously do that. And that will allow it to follow the line and constantly be looking for those edges. Okay, so I'll, we'll show it what it looks like in practice, and then uh, you guys will give it a shot as well. Okay, so I've downloaded my program, and it's gonna we're gonna try to get it to follow this line, this circle all the way around. Um, I put my light sensor back so that it's pointing down again, so that I can uh, detect the reflected light. And so I'm going to go ahead and run this program, and again, what should happen is it's going to look basically for the edge of the line. 
if it sees the line, then it um, is going to kind of um, start going to the kind of straight and to the left. If it doesn't see the line, it's going to kind of go straight into the right so that it looks back for the line again. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. So you can see that it's basically it's moving around and it's constantly kind of going left to right, left to right, left to right, looking for the line. And when it doesn't find the line, it kind of moves back to the right to find it. When it sees the line, it kind of goes forward and to the left until it doesn't find the line again. And it will just keep going all the way around, just like that.